Hi, I'm Miss Cherry. Um, I am Head of Modern Foreign Languages at Cardinal Vaughan. Um, we're a department made up of six members of staff um, and we teach French and Spanish. Um, in terms of why you should study a language at A level, there are millions of reasons. Um, personally, it can promote real confidence. Um, it promotes fluency, obviously, in the language. We don't expect you to be fluent on arrival. That's something that hopefully that you will pick up over the two years of study. Um, speaking a language, being able to write a language, read, listen in a foreign language uh, is a really transferable skill. Um, it's not something that's based just in a classroom. You need to use it outside of the classroom, obviously, on things like holidays. Um, and obviously, you will learn a lot about the culture and in today's world being culturally aware and um, knowing about other cultures is extremely important. Um, in terms of degree, uh, you can go on to study obviously French or Spanish by themselves, you can study them together if you're a, a mega linguist. Um, but also studying a language really complements other subjects. You could do French and law, you could do Spanish and history, you could do business and French. So loads and loads of universities offer joint honour courses. Um, and I have had ex-pupils, in fact, who've come back and said, oh, miss, I really wish that I'd studied a language as well as history, for example, at university. Or I really miss doing Spanish or I really miss doing French. So it is something that uh, you could think about taking further. Uh, in terms of careers, the world is your oyster. Um, you can be a lawyer, you can work in finance, you could be an interpreter, um, a translator, or you could uh, even be a teacher. In terms of the exam board, we do the AQA course, um, and the papers that you do at the end of Upper Sixth, there are three. Uh, paper one is the reading, listening and writing paper, which is 50% of your final grade. Uh, paper two is the writing paper, which is 20% of your overall grade. In that writing paper, you talk about um, the aspect of literature or the film that you've studied. And paper three is the speaking exam, um, which is worth 30% of your overall grade. Um, now, the speaking exam, uh, within that you have a stimulus card where you would talk about one of the topics that you've covered over the two years. And the second part, which is something that I find really, really interesting, is the individual research project. It's an opportunity for you to show... Um, that you've researched an aspect of Francophone or Hispanic life that you find interesting and is individual to you. So some examples of individual research projects that we've had over the past uh, few years. Um, in French, we've had someone talk about Les Gilets Jaunes, so the Yellow Vest protests. Um, someone else looked at Coco Chanel and her involvement with the Nazis, so it's quite niche. Um, we've also had um, a project on settlement of Welsh people in Patagonia, in southern Argentina, um, and another sixth former looked at green energy in Uruguay. So it really is an opportunity for you to go off and research something that you find really interesting. And it might be something that's related to another subject that you take at A-level, and could be something even that you would write about on your UCAS personal statement. As linguists, obviously we absolutely love grammar, and there is no shying away from the fact that that is obviously a key aspect of what we study at A-level. So it's from the simple, from the perfect, uh, to the much more complex so aspects of grammar in both languages like the pluperfect or the subjunctive. And that is something that by the end of the upper sixth, hopefully you will have absolutely nailed and be extremely confident with and be able to use wherever and whenever you want to. So now if I look at the different subjects, so if I look at French first, in terms of the topics that you study, we look at family, technology, uh, music, cinema, along with diversity, uh, crime and punishment, the French political system and the young people and how they're engaged with the vote, um, as well as immigration. And for uh, literature, currently we look at um, La Haine, and Candide by Voltaire and Tartuffe by Molière. Um, for Spanish, uh, the topics are quite similar. Uh, again, we look at family, uh, technology and internet, uh, equality of the sexes, gay rights, music, uh, the influence of celebrities, um, and then regional identity. So looking at uh, what that entails in terms of language and food. Um, and we look at immigration, uh, racism, political life, so things like dictatorships and monarchy, 
um, as well as integration. Um, in terms of the literature aspects, the film that we've been studying is El Labyrintho del Fauno, which is Pan's Labyrinth. Um, and we've studied La Casa de Bernada Alba, which is a book by Lorca, and Requiem por un Campesino Español, which is um, the story of the life of a Spanish peasant in the Civil War era. Um, so there's loads and loads to look at. Um, it's really, they're really, really enjoyable subjects to learn, French and Spanish, and they do really open up so many different things for you. Um, thank you very much for listening. I hope that we see you studying French or Spanish in September 2021.